Sports fans have the chance to watch a game of baseball for the first time in quite a while tonight. Warner Park is hosting two games with the Corn Belt League tonight. Reporter Jessica Edson stopped by the stadium to see how they were preparing to welcome back fans. Sporting events have been a little different this year, with many being canceled or televised only. But tonight, Warner Park is inviting fans back into the stadium. Yeah, we're excited to welcome you know the largest crowd that we've had uh, for the 2020 calendar year. It'll be just shy of about 2,400 people will be out at the ballpark tonight. And Four teams of the Corn Belt Summer Collegiate Baseball League will face off starting at 6 p.m. Of course, with the coronavirus still being a concern, the stadium is taking precautions. Uh, so there is at least six feet uh, in between every person that will be in the ballpark uh, uh, that aren't with individual groups. And we're only selling tickets in eights or less. Concessions will be limited to prevent possible exposure. Draft beers and fountain drinks will not be available. Staff will be wearing masks and guests are encouraged to wear their own mask, especially when going through security. And the teams themselves are also taking precautions to keep players safe during the game. Yeah, the players know to minimize the high fives and everything like that. And just, uh, you know, in the dugouts, they're spaced out far enough. Their equipment, there's no sharing of equipment or anything like that. The league is also sanitizing their baseballs and asking players to bring their own water. Siwa said he is happy to give his players the opportunity to play in front of such a large crowd. And he hopes that their hard work and talent will shine through. Warner Ball Park has opened it up to a lot of the fans to be able to come out and, and see the games and see the action on the field and see this quality level of baseball that's being put on. And a music choreographed fireworks show is scheduled to follow the games. That's going to be around 10 p.m. tonight.